Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today, another game of Apex Legends. Of course, that's what we're playing at this point in time. Uh, a little bit of an interesting interruption. This is uh, my first win in I'd like the last like 10 days, uh, which has been uh, a little weird. I felt a little weird playing during that time because uh, I was sick. Uh, I hadn't been doing well for like a little bit over uh, two weeks now. Um, been having some problems, been having... Oh, yay. Uh, hold on one second. My dog it needs to be... Uh, he needs he needs something. But alas, uh, sorry. Uh, I've had some stomach issues. Uh, I've been waking up in like middle of the night, early morning, you know, puking, having lots of diarrhea, you know, those kinds of problems. A lot of different funny things when you look down. <laughs> uh, different funny colors, uh, things like that. And pain in general, and then nausea. Uh, lasting, you know, throughout the day, and then as well as, like, sometimes, like, a, well, not sometimes, a lot of times, uh, this is associated with, like, a lot of anxiety and some panic, uh, and, and that's been happening for a while now, and I've gone to, you know, some doctors, that have, was first, you know, woke up in the middle of the night one night, um, uh, Wednesday of, you know, a couple weeks now, uh, and I woke up in the middle of the night, started throwing up, uh, and then, you know, evacuating and everything else, <laughs> um, and then from there, uh, the pain was just getting worse. I couldn't make it to class, couldn't do anything else. I uh, ended up going to urgent care, uh, and they said, hey, this could just be uh, some terrible, terrible food poisoning. Uh, we'll give you some stuff for nausea, and uh, we'll see how it goes. A few days, it should uh, get better after that. So, uh, you know, went on for a few days. Uh, things are just kind of staying the same, staying the same, staying the same, making it really difficult to do, you know, pretty some basic things. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, things are just getting worse. I have to go to the ER. The ER uh, basically says, yeah, like this still could be just some sort of food poisoning working their way out of you. Uh, and they gave me something for nausea as well as something that helps with uh, a little bit of anxiety and nausea at the same time. So like a little sedative and mostly anti-nausea. Uh, so that helped. It's, it's helpful. But at the same time, it still is only managing uh, the symptoms. We don't exactly know what's happening. Things can continue to get worse. Uh, it had been a couple weeks. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It had been a couple weeks of, uh, of just kind of like every morning throwing up and feeling terrible all day. And so finally uh, went to uh, my main doctor from there, uh, got some scans and some blood work, some tests and stuff like that. And they just found that it could just be something like ulcers. Uh, it's probably, uh, you, we're not going to know it's ulcers until you go in and see them. And at this point, there's no reason to actually go in uh, inside yet, uh, according to my doctor. Uh, so we can just treat it like ulcers, and uh, that, that seems to be working so far, um, you know, just taking care of, uh, you know, stress and as well as managing acid production and stuff like that, so it's kind of a little bit boring. <laughs> but yeah, so all of this stuff, I don't know about you, but it's, when I'm like really nauseous, it's hard for me to play video games just because like sitting stationary but moving, you know, the character on, you know, the screen and aiming can be problematic for, you know, nausea for me. And so I haven't been able to play. And when I have been able to play, it's been, like, not at a great level. And so finally, I was able actually to to get a win. <laughs> and, you know, I actually went back to back in this session uh, in, in this game. And so it, it, it's just kind of... Uh, at this point, I, I started to feel maybe a little bit of a breaking of of the of the nausea and stuff like that. But I ate. Uh, I I have these meal delivery boxes. You know, I'm the sun. Sun Basket is the brand. Uh, I know there's lots of different brands and options. Um, but that's the one that I have, and they had like these like stacked chorizo enchiladas, and I didn't want them to go bad, so I was like, I'm just gonna eat them whenever I feel good, and I might have to pay the price. Definitely paid the price. <laughs> I have not been feeling uh, great today, but this has all been making me real nervous about um, graduation uh, because this is my I'm in my very last bit of uh, my last year of college, and I'm working on my senior senior thesis project. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my senior thesis project is uh, like a, an examination of basically the South. Uh, I am uh, I'm making a photography. I'm, I'm in a photography program, and I'm making a book. Uh, it's full of images. 
uh, in, in this book. Uh, it's an examining kind of what the South is, uh, is long. And in addition to that, what it is now and a reflection of what it, what is now based on what it was and different all of the different factors that have made it what it is today and what that means for it now and what that means going forward. Uh, kind of examining all these different things, going to all these different places. But yeah, so I still have class to go to. I still have all of these different things, and so uh, it, it's been making it uh, you know difficult to go to all these things when you're you know sitting by the toilet, pain and you know dizzy and nauseous. Um, you know it, it, it's hard to go drive places and you know go to class, and so I, I was having uh, some problems with that, and so finally um, looked like I'm starting to get things uh, to get things worked on, get things done, and and so as Part of uh, the preparation for that, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, s I, I need to spend more time making images. I've been miss missing uh, some time being actually able to go out uh, into the world and visit these different places that I need to go to to examine like what this the, you know the South of America you know not South America Southern America is. Uh, so in order to do that, I gotta go be in it. Uh, essentially and so uh, that's what I'm going to be doing uh, so like I said I am a college student now I am on uh, spring break this is my last spring break ever <laughs> it's kind of a funny feeling um, and so I'm gonna go uh, driving from anywhere from south uh, west Virginia all the way down to uh, northern Georgia maybe western north uh, eastern yeah, northeastern Alabama, uh, just the southeast uh, America uh, in, you know, this Appalachia region. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be in a minivan, <laughs> sleeping in the minivan, um, sleeping in the minivan, going to all these different places during the day and at night, seeing what all these different places truly are. Because part of what the, this is, is you have to, you have to know what uh, these places are. Uh, you have to you have to have some experience with them you have to have some feeling for them and so uh, that's part of what this is going to be so i'm pretty excited about that i i, I really um I, i've never done something truly like this uh, on my own you know like i've done like similar like road trips maybe not similar in terms of the for the like in the context of like oh i'm going to make something like i'm going to make artwork or i'm going to yeah i've never had a trip like that maybe in general as well but uh, in addition i've never had like a complete alone road trip extended uh kind of time uh based thing by myself it's always usually been just with family uh or something like that like a family road trip or yeah i guess that's it you know or a class road trip or, you know, like some sort of group where everybody's going together and so i'm actually pretty excited to have like this this be like a experience completely like you know self-supported i guess so to say i'm thinking for food wise i'm going to be sleeping in this uh van as well uh, that and that's definitely somewhat part of it um, for 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 the the whole trip. It's I don't know why. Like it doesn't need to be, I guess. But in, I'm making it part of it for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it doesn't need to be for the context of like what I'm doing, but for what for like the situation I'm in now, uh, a little bit it does uh, in terms of just what I have left uh, and what when I have to finish it. So uh, I'm going to go from all the, like these different small towns uh, making images by day, and then I don't exactly know what I'm going to do by night. Like, is there some sort of nightlife? Is there some something to experience that could make it into the book at night? Is it just maybe like this quiet? abandoned emptiness or maybe there's some sort of special nightlife in these small towns that i'll uh, find and that i'll experience but uh, who knows um maybe I'll, you know maybe i'll find something uh <laughs> but I, i'm thinking for food like uh if i'm going to be staying in this van and if i'm going to like make that kind of part of it uh like maybe mres because <laughs> it's one thing like i don't want to eat fast food the, the entire time i don't think i'm going to be able to eat fast food the entire time so i think i'm gonna have to eat like simple smaller kind of meals uh, especially because you know saying for my you know the stomach problems that i'm in and i'm looking at leaving in the next couple days uh and and so um yeah i um yeah, MREs kind of seem like that might just be like a fun option for, <laughs> for, whatever, for whatever dumb reason. I think it also is a little bit funny. Uh, and so leading to all this, I'm going to have documentation in the form of uh, images of that I, you know, I'm taking for this project. The, you know, the actual books will be available uh, as well. But in addition to that, I'm going to document kind of the experience of you know being in, like in this in the van and eating and like living in it's just a kind of going around from different place to place. 
in, in this van. So I'm going to document that side of everything as well. Uh, and I've also learned uh, recently uh, how, how to code and make websites, uh, you know, via coding. Uh, and so I can do that now. And um, I'm, you know, I'm, I learned how to do it for the purpose of making, uh, you know, a website anyway, as a, a sort of like a portfolio for for uh, my artwork, uh, for that for that uh, a place for that kind of uh, for it to live over there. And in addition to that, uh, I, I think I'm going to be documenting uh, and showing, putting it on the website uh, this kind of thing uh, as well. I think it's a good place uh, for it for for this kind of content, like the documentation. Uh, I don't exactly know, like I'm not gonna like vlog the whole thing. I know that's a kind of like a YouTube way of sharing it, and so I'm not gonna like particularly go out and do that. I'm not gonna craft like the content in order for that to happen. Uh, but I, I am going to be documenting it, whether it be writing or uh, um, photos, even, you know, videos, whatever it is that it is best in whatever form it could be best. I, I now have like the tools to do, whether it be throwing it on YouTube, if it is, um, you know, but, you know, YouTube, I think people generally think of vlog content. But anyway, so it could be something putting a video up on YouTube. It could be uh, another just like a, an additional book that accompanies this, the main book. It could be uh, just photos. It could be writings. It could be, you know, a lot of different things documenting uh, this kind of experience. Uh, and, and so uh, that's something I think that's definitely out there to be looking forward to. And then another thing is uh, some, some ah, when I am nauseous and like playing, uh, you know, video games, I mentioned that, you know, something, a game like Apex isn't always like the best thing, but uh, I've been able to play like a lot of SimCity. And so I've been playing a lot more of that recently. And I think like maybe a let's play of that might be uh, kind of fun because that's a, it's kind of a game that's perfect for, uh, that kind of a let's play, you know, it's really simple. It's mindless. It's been out for a while now. Uh, I, you know, I kind of, I don't like, I'm not like an expert at that game, but I generally kind of have enough. I know what I'm doing enough to be able to talk and play the game at the same time, I guess. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about a let's play like that. I also have Roller Coaster Tycoon one and two, so I'm thinking of something uh, kind of like that because it's just kind of fun, uh, as well as of course uh, more Apex Legends because I'm definitely loving Apex. A playing Apex, uh, definitely can't get enough of that game. I'm looking forward to the Battle Pass, although only rumors yet at this point. Still, we don't actually have the actual release date of anything. So, go figure. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping for good things in the future uh, for uh, Apex Legends as well as the Battle Pass. But, uh, so if you made it this far, I assume you're going to be interested in all of uh, this whole van excursion thing. I'll be sure to make sure there are ways to inform everybody who saw this video. Uh, so clicking subscribe is probably the easiest way uh, to, to get to that notification because it'll come through the means of this YouTube channel where to find that information or content or whatever it is. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.